Hello, I'm going to show you how to set up the riseup.net OpenVPN server for PFSense 2.3.x. So, um, riseup.net is um, invite only, so um, you have to know a member that has riseup to be able to sign up and use their service. You have to have an invite code and um, you have to get those off of somebody you know, <coughs> me. So. Um, we have a um, PFSense box sitting here um, running on a VM to stimulate this um, setup. And we have a Windows 7 VM client that is using this PFSense box as its router. Okay. So, um, RiseUp has two different um, locations you can pick from Seattle or New York City. And um, since I live in Ohio, I'm going to have to go with New York. Okay. So the first thing you got to do is you got to add their um, CA certificate. Okay. And to get that, um, you go to help.riseup.net forward slash security forward slash network dash security forward slash riseup dash CA forward slash riseup CA dot PIM. Now we'll include this in the description. So do a control A, copy, go back to the PFSense router, go to system, cert manager, under CAs or certificate authorities, click the add button. Right here you want to just give a description. You can name this whatever you want to name it. Obviously we're using rise up. So we'll add it. Under certificate data, do a control V. Make sure there's no additional lines underneath the end certificate tag, and then hit save. Now, as you can see, it um, it successfully um, added it because you can see it shows Rise Up Networks of Seattle valid until March 2026. Okay, so we got a while for that. So next thing you're going to do is go to VPN, open VPN, under clients, add. Here's where you can choose what protocol you want to connect to the server at. Usually you want to keep that on UDP. And then you want to keep it um, on ton, not tap. And um, here's where you're going to add the address of the server you're connecting to. Like I said, you want to connect to the one that is closest to you. So I'm going to go with New York City. Make sure there's no spaces or anything at the end here. Okay. Make sure there's no spaces before. Server ports, um, Rise Up's servers run on 1194, 443, sorry, 443 or 80. So I'm going to use 443 in this example. Click Infinite really Resolve Server. Here's where you're going to add a description of um, what you're going to name this. It doesn't matter. You don't even have to add one. Okay, so here's where you authenticate with the server at. Um, your username is going to be um, just the part before your email. You do not include the, the whole email address. So mine will be gtxl. The password is not going to be your rise up password. It's going to be your um, VPN secret code right here. You're going to go to user.riseup.net and authenticate to your rise up account. Go under VPN and then new VPN secret. And I will change this after the after the tutorial, so don't think you can use that after the tutorial. Okay, so there's that. You want to uncheck enable authentication of TLS packets. Now this is where you can choose the cipher and the digest algorithm. Now I tried setting this to like really secure ones, but I got errors from Rise Up's VPN server, so they really need to like allow, you know, more stronger um, ciphers. But they use um, BF CBC 128 bit, and they use SHA-1. That's what I've found in my testing, and that should be it as far as um, the client configuration. You're gonna hit save. 
and then we want we want to make sure that this is running okay so we're gonna go to status um, open VPN and as you can see right here rise of VPN using UDP it is up so that's good that means it's connected so you can see it's connected got its virtual IP address from um, rise up here's the remote host IP how many bytes and stuff were um, transferred and obviously that is low because that's just the authentication part next thing you want to do is go to interfaces assign and as you can see down here you can assign new interface using this new VPN click the add button click to save go to interfaces and you're gonna go to opt to because that's what it was named under right see it opt to or you can actually just click right here click enable interface don't mess with any of this other stuff hit save apply changes and now what you're going to want to do is go to firewall NAT outbound manual outbound NAT rule generation save apply now you're going to want to find your local subnet or you can just change this per whatever computer you want to go out via just a VPN you can really get specific about this and I'm not going to go into details of how to isolate certain traffic to go out via the VPN and certain traffic not to okay I'm just going to isolate or I'm just going to show an example of having the whole network go out through the VPN you can have your whole um, LAN network strictly go out everything go out through the VPN or you can isolate it what what type of traffic you want to go out through the VPN say I only want IRC traffic to go out through the VPN and everything else to go out through my home IP or you know my home network for performance reasons or something like that or you can say I just want this computer or device on the network to go out through the VPN say you have like a, a guest over and you don't want them using your house IP or your home IP um, you can have them go out through the VPN there's there's all kinds of things you can do with um, PFSense to configure whatever the hell way you want I mean you can you can get really specific you know what I'm saying but I'm just gonna show you how to make a whole network go out through the VPN here in this example so as you can see it shows um, three no four different subnets obviously this is just a loop back you're not gonna mess with this this is the um, WAN interface or actually no this is the LAN interface um, subnet and this is the WAN interface subnet and this is the opt1 which the opt1 is what the VP, which is what the VM the Windows 7 VM is using so we are going to have to modify these rules right here okay so hit edits change this to opt2 okay cuz that's that's what the interface was called hit save now let's change this one to opt to as well. Hit save. Hit apply changes. Go to firewall rules. Opt to one, which is what the um, Windows 7 VM is on. Typically, you're going to go to LAN because that's what you're going to use. But I have a special configura configuration setup, so the Windows 7 VM is going out through Opt to one interface. So you're going to change this um, advanced, you're going to change what gateway it goes out, up to, save, apply changes, make sure this reloads, okay. So now what you're going to do is go to um, um, before we do that, let's see what our IP address is. Let's see if it already took effect. Okay, so you see here's our IP address. We got this, the Centrelink IP, right? So we're going to go to Diagnostics, or no, not Diagnostics. We are going to go to Status Services. You have the Open VPN. You're going to hit Restart. Okay. Click Restart like that. Okay, so it restarted. Let's go to Status Open VPN. It's connected. We can go to status system logs, open VPN, and we can even 
look even in depth of it making the connection, then we can basically cipher out any errors, you know, tweak and fix any of those errors later on. <clears throat> so now let's see if it's going out through um, Rise Up. It should, and it's not. There we go. Okay, so it's K. It, it was cached. Eh, stop caching. Okay, so this this thing is um caching here. That's kind of weird. <laughs> okay, so we can see it pops up here. So it's going out through the VPN. If you can see, see? Now, I don't know why it's going out through um, Rise Up Seattle location because we chose the New York location. Um, so as you can, you can tell, this is not my, um, Essentially, like IP anymore. I have no idea why what's my IP address is showing my real one. That's that is interesting to say the least. Um, if it keeps showing my real IP address, we're gonna have to see what is causing that leak. There we go. Okay, so it was obviously cached, um, either in a cookie or something like that. So um, that was really weird. But as you can as you can see, our IP address has changed to rise up. And let's just make sure of this. Let's just let's just double check. Okay, let's go um, let's go into here. And I don't see anything confidential in there. Good. And let's go ahead and load Excel.net. And VPNs are pretty slow. But as you can see over here, we're getting that rise up IP and not the home IP. Okay? So that that is good. Okay. So let's go back to the um, VM again. So our IP address has changed. All our traffic should be going out through the um, through the VPN. And obviously, you can tell from the latency is going out through the VPN. Now I'm all the way in Ohio, and um, <clears throat> even though I chose Rise Up's New York City location. I'm going through their Seattle location, which is clear across the United States, which is why this latency is like high. That's why you want to choose the closest um, VPN server to you. And I'm not sure why. See right here, I'm, I'm going out through Seattle. C E A O one Google. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going out through Seattle. I'm not sure why I'm going out through Seattle when I chose New York City. Um, maybe I need a file. I'll take it with the rise up and see. You know what's going on with that. Um, because we chose um, New York City, and I can even verify we did. If you go to um, status, open VPN, um, here's the remote host IP, 153.226. Is that the IP we end up with? No, we end up with we end up with a different subnet IP. But um, 
the IP address that our client resolves to and connects to is um, this one, which is kite.riseup.net, okay, which obviously it's going to show up as suspected sharing because it's a VPN server. Now, if I um, use my server that's actually in Newark, New Jersey, which is right next to um, New York City, I can see if this is actually in New York City. And obviously, we can tell this is this is not in New York City, okay? So that's RiseUp's fault. But you can see it's going all the way out through Seattle, and we can confirm this is Seattle just from some RDNS. And if we ping it, if it's pingable, or I don't know where I got that from, you can obviously tell this is obviously in Seattle when it should be in New York City. So we learned that this is a lie, <laughs> and we need to see what's up with that. Okay, but um, other than that, that is how you set up a um, VPN. And I didn't mean to click on that. So let's go back into here. So say you want to get rid of this configuration, you want to go back. So what you're going to do is, if you want to remove this um, VPN server from PFSense, you're going to hit stop on the service. This is on status open VPN, right there. So let's go ahead and kill the client there. Now um, everybody that's on your network is going to get disconnected and basically not going to be able to have internet until you fix this. So what you're going to do next is you're going to go to VPN, open VPN, clients, delete, OK. Go to system cert manager, delete the rise up one, hit OK. Go to interfaces, assign, delete the interface that was used for open VPN, which is op2. Hit OK, save, go to firewall, NAT outbound check the ones that look blank and hit delete okay hit apply changes so it saves it in the config hit automatic save apply changes there we go go to interface uh, I mean firewall rules opt one which is what we use but yours is going to be LAN click on that um, allow all traffic outbound rule you're going to change the default gateway to default. Hit save. That way it updates and then it show rise up. Hit apply. And um, I think that's about it for that side of things. You can go to status, system logs, open VPN, hit the cog or the wrench, I mean, clear log, hit OK. And then um, you want to um, status or diagnostics you want to reload. Where is reload at? I'm looking for filter reload. There it is. Filter reload under status. Reload filter. Click back. Now let's go to the VPN. Let's see. What's... Now this is about probably going to still show rise up. Oh, there we go. Now it should show the whole... The, your help your home IP so that's how you get rid of the VPN so I showed you how to install the VPN and remove it okay so thanks for watching I'm sorry this went on a long time I was just you know you go through a, a bit of complications every now and then you wonder you know why is that showing that why is that sh why is that not doing this or you know stuff like that but um, I keep it in the video that way if you have the same issue you know how to um, about it but as far as this showing up in Seattle I have to talk to rise up about that and see hey where's your New York City server you know but anyway guys um, thanks for watching